Hello YouTube, Mudcat here. I'm uh, gonna talk today about my HJC I-90 helmet. I've had this helmet for almost three years and it is a uh, modular helmet, meaning that the chin bar will flip up, as you can see here. Uh, this is also known as the Harley-Davidson sells a version of this. It's known as the Capstone, I got it right down here, Sun Shield 2 H31. Uh, this helmet right here sells for about $229 currently on Revzilla and JP, places like that. You can look around, you can probably find it for the $200 range. Uh, the Harley version has graphics on it and HJC sells a version of this that has graphics too. It's a little bit more expensive. The Harley version is $279. I think the HJC version with graphics is $259, $269. So this is just a solid color. It comes pin lock ready, meaning that you can have a pin lock put inside the shield. And it works like a double pane window. It does not fog up near as fast or near as bad, I guess I should say. Uh, this is the first helmet I ever had that had the pin lock. And uh, that's something I definitely look for from now on is a helmet that is pin lock ready. The pin lock for this is not included in this helmet. It's, a, it's an additional $40. So uh, this helmet has grooves for your glasses right in here. Uh, the brow and the cheek pads are removable. Uh, it has a sun shield that drops down. This one does not work anymore. Uh, it quit working. It has a vent on top that allows air in to go across the top of your head. And it has a vent down low here that uh, allows air to come in and it blows up across the shield, helping to stop uh, fogging as well. Uh, it is Bluetooth ready, meaning it has uh, the holes inside for a earpiece for a Senna. The whole time I had this helmet, I had a Senna 10C Evo on it, and uh, it worked great. Um, it has a double D-ring fastener. The weight of this helmet is 3.78 in a large, uh, which is probably on the lighter side of some of the similar helmets. Uh, it's polycarbonate. The shield is removable easy. All you do is take and pull this quick release down and it comes right off going back on. It's just the same. Easy to do. Um, my experience with this helmet over the last 45,000 miles has been that it's a good helmet. Uh, whenever I had my street glide, I thought it was didn't flow very much air but I thought it was quiet. Whenever I got my Pan America, those reversed. I thought it was noisy and it, it flowed a lot of air. So depending on what type of bike you're gonna ride, either one of those things can change. Uh, over time, the top of the helmet, the suspension in it, padding has collapsed and now my glasses do not line up with the grooves on the side here. So it uh, pushes on the side of my head which is an issue and uh, twice the, the screws in the side of this chin bar mount has come loose and uh, I've had the first time I put them back in I used Loctite the second time with Loctite they still come out again and uh, it boogered some of the holes up so the left side only has one screw in it it uh, like I say it's a good helmet for the price point I cannot complain about it uh, I've replaced it with a higher quality helmet, a more expensive helmet, but there's nothing wrong with the HJC I-90. I would recommend it for a entry level or budget minded uh, purchase for a, a modular helmet. And uh, that's about all I got to say about it. It's a good helmet, no problems with it. Uh, it's just time for something a little bit more comfortable. So that's all I've got for you today. If you like this, give me a like. And uh, if you feel so inclined, you can subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. Be safe out there. Have a blessed day. Mudcat is out.